Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Carpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is Capital Investment Decisions, Internal Rate of Return, or just IRR. When we talk about capital investment decisions, we talk about capital budgeting, it's the process of making capital investment decisions. So, if we have decisions, here is more than one. So we need more than one alternative to compare them and find the best one. Capital investment means acquiring a capital asset, example, equipment, plants, vehicle, and information technology. We have four methods. So we have four videos about these topics. And the other three videos about payback, accounting rate of return, and net present value, they are in our video description. And the internal rate of return, similar to net present value, better for a longer lifespan. Basically, internal rate of return is the rate where net present value is nothing, where net present value is zero. Okay? So, how do we do that? Let's come back, let's go here to our Excel file. And the Excel file is free to download, and the link is, is also in our video description. So, and we have the four methods here. So it is the same Excel file for all of our four videos. It will be easier for you guys. So we have here payback, accounting rate of return, net present value, and now the internal rate of return. We have two equipments, same cost, $1.5 million, discount rate, 8%. So basically is how much is the rate where the present value of these numbers here, they are the same as our, as our cost, okay? And then uh, what do we have? We have here initial investment 1.5. Equal net cash inflow for equipment A for 50. So how much is the rate where these 450 here, if we bring them to present value, they will be $1.5 million. Or if we talk about financial formulas, what is the rate where uh, if I, I invest $1.5 million and I withdraw 450 per year at the end of the fifth year, we will have nothing. So the formula here is called rate. And by the way, if you want to know more about annuities and present value, we also have videos about that and they are in our video description. So we will have five videos in our video description. Actually, we have five videos in our video description. Present value, annuities, payback period, accounting rate of return, and net present value. So our formula here, let's go to all formulas, let's call it rate, not radians, rand, rate here. So our rate, number of periods, five years. EMT, negative for 50. Remember, we are investing money, positive, we are re withdrawing money negative. PV, 1.5. Future value would be our residual value. And then, okay, here it is 15%. So let's increase here 15.84%. So if we have this investment here, our internal rate of return would be. 15.24%. Or here, problem, we have unequal numbers. So for unequal numbers, trial and error. If we want to do based on this method here. However, we have a internal rate of return here. We have a formula. What should we do? Investment, negative number because we are investing money we are decreasing our cash we are receiving money here 800 600 420 so we are increasing our 
cash. And at the end of the fifth year, it will be 50 plus residual value. Okay? So, we have a formula here. Insert function. Call it internal rate of return. So, I... R R. Whoa! What? How do we do? Just select all of our numbers and guess we leave it blank. Okay. So okay here, twenty point eighty one percent. Much easier, huh? Much much easier than our uh, formula using rate. What is the difference? This formula here, usually you will find it in your textbook or they will be working with tables. I don't like tables, so we will not be working here. And uh, if we have different textbooks, they have different tables as well with more numbers or less numbers. So we will not be using any textbook here. Let's check if this internal rate of return based on internal rate of return formulas, if we if we get the same numbers. So let's just fix this last one. That is for a 50 plus residual value. And then internal rate of return. Most recently used here because we just got it. And we have our formulas here. 15.24%, it matches here so much easier uh, using the internal rate of return formula. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. Subscribe our video. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And also like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarpin. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarpin at gmail.com. Okay, guys, have a very nice day and God bless you.